A humanitarian documentary is coming up next on Emmanuel TV. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The publication you've been waiting for. Faith Comet. Full color. Glossy 120 page magazine from the Synagogue Church of the Nation. Packed with testimony. Prophecy. First hand accounts. Articles and stories so gripping you wouldn't be able to put it down. Get ready to read what you have never read before. Discover the intriguing beginnings of TV Joshua as he tells his own story. Find out what happened when presidents met the prophet. Take a photographic journey through the Indonesia crusade. Catch a glimpse of the other side through international prophecies by TV Joshua. Join Synagogue Church on Asia's evangelists as they recount their journeys through life. And much, much more. Only in Faith Comet. Now available, Faith Comet issue 1 and 2 at our web store www.escworldwide.com Get your copy today and let faith come in. Make God's Word the standard for life with Prophet T.B. Joshua. I need you more. Hallelujah. Yeah. Emmanuel. If God is with us, tell your neighbor if God is with me, on my side, who can against me? You may be seated. Thank you. Remember Jesus. Blesses now, acts now, redeems now, saves now. Tell your neighbor now. now. You can only conquer your past by focusing on your future. Tell your neighbor, you can only do solo. Conquer your past. Puedes vencer tu pasado. By focusing. Poniendo foco. On your future. En tu futuro. You have come all the way along, full of trial, full of trouble, condemnation, persecution, hatred, rejection, isolation. You can only conquer your past by focusing on your future. Tell your neighbor, focus on your future. Focalisez-vous sur votre avenir. Because Jesus is now, blesses now, saves now. Sauve maintenant. Tell your neighbor, my past is over. Thank you. If God's words are true for your life, let us see your faith. When Peter was saying to Jesus, I want to come with you on the sea. He said, you want to come with me on the sea? He said, yes. He said, show your excitement. Make a move. So I said to you, Show your excitement. <laughs> Hallelujah. If your past is not considered, you have no problem. Say now. It meant now. My past is over. Mon passé est terminé. Mon passé est terminado. When they are done.
This woman was brought to Jesus. And uh, they were about to kill her according to the law of Moses. They brought her to Jesus. And Jesus looked at them. He bent on her and wrote something and look at what he wrote he said to them if any one of you have not committed the offense this woman had committed such person should stone the woman they look at themselves tell your neighbor where are they, where are they? they have gone <laughs> I'm just right I'm justified. Estoy I'm justified. no longer condemned. Ya no estoy más condenado. Defeat and failure El y la derrota are things of the past. Son cosas del pasado. I'm redeemed. Estoy redimido. I'm saved. Estoy salvado. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Soy la justicia de Dios en Cristo. La justicia de Dios en Cristo. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My past is over. Está terminado. Mi pasado está terminado. Tell your neighbor, those life of struggling, disappointment, failure, nightmare, sickness, disease, hatred, barrenness, isolation, rejection, is over. Esta vida de enojo, de pasado, de sufrimiento, está terminado. Take it, believe it, act in it, confess it. I'm prophesying to your life. Those prayers, those fasting, those meditation, they are not lost. You are here to reap the fruit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Tell your neighbor my tension, mi tension. my pressure, mi presión, my effort, mi esfuerzo, are not needed. No son necesarios. I'm here Estoy aquí to reap para the fruit. El fruto. Thank you, you may be seated. Maybe sit there, thank you. They are fatherless so that you can be their father. They are lonely so that you can be their companion. They are in want so that you can be their benefactor. You should spend more on others. Physically challenged. Challenged. These physically challenged men and women arrive at the Synagogue Church of All Nations for a meeting with TB Joshua. They come from across Nigeria with different difficulties and disabilities. They arrive on wheelchairs with walking sticks, crutches, and even seated on skateboards using their hands to guide themselves. Many have weakened or missing limbs, some even using prosthetic legs. They come in their thousands at the invitation of TB Joshua. This is Anthony Aziz Ulonam, a regular attendee of the meetings. He's suffering from difficulty in walking due to a shortened and weakened leg, as evidenced by the tall right shoe he is wearing. These Emmanuel TV bags are filled with top quality rice and stacked here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations for distribution to every person in attendance at the physically challenged meeting, including the care providers. The bags of rice are stacked in their thousands. Along with the rice, financial aid, business startup capital, accommodation funds, university scholarships, 
and sponsorships abroad for students and athletes are given. This is the way and manner in which the ministry has been caring for the needs of the physically challenged since its beginning. 1 John 3, 17-18 But whoever has this world's goods, and sees his brother in need, and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? Let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Ultimately, we are called to respond to all human needs, for that is what love entails. Let the naked, the empty, let the hungry, the guilty, be of good comfort, for Christ calls them to be pardoned, to be filled, to be clothed, and to be supplied. Yet Christ has no hands but our hands to do his work today. He has no help but our help to bring men to his side. Inside the meeting, delicious hot meals have been prepared. The Emmanuel TV team arranges each meal individually and serves the physically challenged guests. It is to be considered a rare privilege to be in a position to give. For when we give, we are not only helping our brother in need, but producing an outpouring of gratitude to God for his provision. After the meal, TB Joshua addresses those in attendance. These are the brand new wheelchairs. This young man is carried by the Emmanuel TV team into a wheelchair of his own. You can see the weakened and bent legs which prevent him from walking. This is the manner in which he came to the meeting, by rolling himself along the ground. What a life of suffering this young man has had to endure. But with the simple provision of this wheelchair, his life will drastically improve. This man is without legs. He is lifted into a wheelchair by the Emmanuel TV team and adjusts himself to his improved position. He came to the meeting in the morning, carried by a man and a woman, yet in the evening he is able to wheel himself home. More wheelchairs are brought forward. This woman is assisted into a brand new wheelchair. One can see the difficulty she has in walking, as we see her foot is completely twisted backwards. This is the way she made her way to the church crawling on her hands while dragging her legs behind her. Now seated comfortably in a wheelchair of her own, she gains not only ease of movement but a sense of dignity. Yet another wheelchair is brought forward and given to this woman, who is lifted from the floor. She is also suffering from a deformation of the feet, which has led to her desperate situation. On her way to the meeting, her children walked beside her as she crawled on her hands and knees. This wheelchair brings her to a position where she will be better able to care for her young children. This is the way and manner in which Emmanuel TV, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, and TB Joshua have been reaching out to meet the needs of the disadvantaged from the beginning. Here, bags of rice and financial assistance are being distributed to each of the attendees of the meeting. The faces, once reflecting stress and suffering, now glow with joy. The physically challenged guests make their way out of the meeting, escorted by the Emmanuel TV team and carrying their bags of rice. TV Joshua carries the bag of rice for this young man on the skateboard. These are the blind, holding their hands together, accompanied by team members to assist them in carrying their gifts. TV Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team members escort each guest out of the auditorium individually and into the vehicles that will carry them home. They make their way out of the church, prepared to face life's challenges with the gifts they have received. These gifts will go a long way in providing a more pleasant life until the next physically challenged thing for these men, women, children, and even small babies. They come in their thousands, each receiving what their life depends on. These gifts provided by the ministry are not the works of man, 
but of God himself. For he is the defender of the defenseless, the protector of widows, and the benefactor to the needy. Today, we are called to be his ambassadors, reaching out to a troubled world. These men, women, and children remind us of this assignment. They are fatherless so that we can be their father. They are lonely so that we can be their companion. They are in want so that we can be their benefactor. The huge crowd of physically challenged guests leave the church after the meeting, carrying their supply of rice and their financial assistance with them. They have come to the church in need, and their need has been met. During their first meeting, these five physically challenged athletes who had been invited to a tournament in Spain were given financial assistance which they used to pay for their visa fees. At their second meeting, TB Joshua presents them with a gift of 700,000 Naira to pay for their flight tickets as well. Praise the Lord! Imara! <laughs> This is the way the ministry has been assisting physically challenged athletes since the beginning. They are among thousands of professionals who, because of their disabilities, find it extraordinarily difficult to excel in their careers, yet find encouragement and advancement here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. This is Esther Oyema, competing in the Women's Powerlifting Bench Press Open. She wins gold and sets a world record. Kate Nwaka Oputa competes against Faith Chineye Obiora in women's wheelchair table tennis to win gold. Yakubu Adesokan sends a victor signal to the audience before competing in the men's powerlifting bench press open. He also wins gold and sets a record. Osamunyobor Arasawa competes in the women's powerlifting bench press open. Joy Onolapo competes in the women's powerlifting bench press open. Esther Oyema, gold medalist. 2010 Commonwealth Games. Esther Oyema, Joy Onolapo, and Osamu Nyobor Arasoma, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists, making history with a clean sweep. Yakubu Arasokan, gold medalist, 2010 Commonwealth Games. Yakubu Arasokan, Anthony Azuna Ulona, and Ikachuku Obichuku, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists, also making history with a clean sweep. Chinume Obeta, silver medalist, 2010 Commonwealth Games. For many years, our organization has come to the aid of the physically challenged in the areas they need assistance most. Accommodation, scholarships to deserving students and athletes, feeding, and business startup capital. In this Sunday service, a large group is called forward. They are athletes, students, the blind, and those unable to walk without aids. Viewers all over the world, thank you for your time. What you're about to watch is to teach you not only must you just pray fast, you must also be a good giver, cheerful giver. That is, you must also give what your life depends on, not only what you do not need but also 
what your life depends on and what you cherish most. If God keep giving you what you do not need, will you be in the position you are today? Listen to them. Thank you. My name is Esther Oyema from Edo State. I'm an athlete. I'm into powerlifting. I've been facing a lot of challenges since my sporting career. Being a physically challenged, I think the whole world would know what it is. Most of us, we don't have anywhere to look up to. Even sometimes some of us that are graduate, they find it difficult out there to get a job. I put in doing sports. The last trial we did, the challenges I have was too much. I have to go back home. I was crying coming out of the stadium in Edo State, where I now met one of the brother from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. He asked me, why are you crying? I told him, I'm tired of doing sports. Frustrated, let me not lie. I wanted to leave my sporting career. He told me I should keep praying. Hope in the Lord. Be training. One day God will see you through. I say, Amen. That was how I started attending Synagogue Church of All Nations. So when I was in the camp, I know our daddy gave people money to send to me. I want to use this medium to thank Prophet TV Joshua for what he has been doing for me. He gave me anointing water. So whenever I want to go to any competition or in my training, I normally use it before going to the competition. When we were back going for the competition in uh, Edian, that New Delhi, I was having fibroid. I used the anointing water again. They did the random test. They didn't find anything in me. Praise the Lord. So that is how I qualified to Commonwealth game held in Edian at New Delhi. So when I get there, I was still facing a lot of challenges when I get there. So they told me that if, I did, if they didn't classify me, they will sanction my secretary for taking me down to India. So I told my God, I said, God, you've been seeing me through since all these years. Now the time has come for you to finish the work. Other people that were going for the classification, the official normally go with them. But when it goes to my tongue, nobody followed me. I go in with God. I say, with God, all things are possible. Because I normally remember that whether he heal me or not, he's my healer. Whether he saved me or not, he's my savior. Whether he redeemed me or not, he's my redeemer. And I still took out of the anointing water, I go into the classification room. And I was classified, there was nothing wrong with me. So they said, there's nothing wrong with me. I said, ah, so this year I've been denied for this competition. So after the competition, I won a gold medal in the Commonwealth game as a world record holder. So these are the pictures. This is the medal as a world champion in Commonwealth Games in New Delhi, India. So I want to thank God for what the Lord has seen our senior prophet TV Joshua to be doing in the lives of the physically challenged. Even me, Esther, I never expected that I would win a gold medal because this tension, this stress, the pain was too much for me. I really thank God that everything that the Kanka woman has eaten, the Lord has using our senior prophet TV Joshua to restore it back to me. Praise the Lord. As you can see me now. I'm using my crutches, but when I want to go to the camp, I rented a wheelchair. I was paying every month. Using these crutches is not too good for me. Crown is not good for the head of poor. Tell your neighbor, crown is not fit for the head of poor. La corona queda en la cabeza del pobre. When you look at her now, she's tired. Whatever the ministry do for you is Nigeria that do it. Whatever Nigeria do for you is government of Nigeria that do it. We are ready now to support the crown. You are no more a poor lady again. We are going to give you an automatic car. Regardez votre écran. And uh, open a can with one million naira for you. Elle demandait une chaise roulante, mais l'homme lui a dit qu'on est une voiture automatique. Elle rentre toute la gardienne disant que son passé est terminé. El profeta le ha dado este carro automático a la señorita y también prometido una cuenta con un millón de nairas. Emmanuel TV team members. Come forward and present the cash gift of one million naira to Esther, along with the key and registration documents with proof of ownership for her brand new car. 
let us rise up and support the nation. Let's put this nation in order. Let's come together, no matter little you have. Use it to support the nation and rise up. Let us raise this country. Arise, O oh, compatron. God have used our daddy in the law, Senior Prophet TV Joshua, as a breakthrough to my life. Not only to me, to the whole world, even my family, most especially. To God be the glory today. I was even expecting a wheelchair, not knowing that a big, big thing was waiting for me. A brand new car. And he crowned it all with a million naira, one million naira. I never expected up to this extent. I never, never expected. Even my family there cannot do it for me. My brothers cannot do it for me. I wish there are people like him helping the physically challenged like this. I don't think most of us would be on the street today begging for food or for their living. I so much thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we give glory to God Almighty for your life. It's such a wonderful testimony. After Esther shares her touching testimony, a brand new share is unpacked from the packaging and presented to the gold medalist. Esther Ayema, gold medalist at the 2010 Commonwealth Games, receives 1 million naira and a brand new automatic car. As Prophet TB Joshua has said, what she is receiving is not just from the Synagogue Church of All Nations, but from the nation as a whole. Waving joyfully, Esther wheels outside to her brand new car. This is the contented smile of someone who has received the peace of God in her heart. Esther climbs inside her new car. Overwhelmed by the blessings God has bestowed upon her, she cannot keep back the smiles and laughter. She closes the door to her car, and her wheelchair is packed neatly into the back. This shows the ease at which she will be able to transport herself around, go to training and competitions, and take care of herself. Esther Oyema drives away in her new car. She is one of a multitude of people whose destinies have been changed here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. These physically challenged men and women arrive at the Synagogue Church of All Nations for a meeting with TB Joshua. They come from across Nigeria with different difficulties and disabilities. They arrive on wheelchairs with walking sticks, crutches, and even seated on skateboards using their hands to guide themselves. Many have weakened or missing limbs, some even using prosthetic legs. They come in their thousands at the invitation of TB Joshua. This is Anthony Aziz Ulonam, a regular attendee of the meetings. He's suffering from difficulty in walking due to a shortened and weakened leg, as evidenced by the tall white shoe he is wearing. These Emmanuel TV bags are filled with top quality rice and stacked here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations for distribution to every person in attendance at the physically challenged meeting, including the care providers. The bags of rice are stacked in their thousands. Along with the rice, financial aid, business stock capital, accommodation funds, university scholarships, and sponsorships abroad for students and athletes are given. This is the way and manner in which the ministry has been caring for the needs of the physically challenged since its beginning. Here, bags of rice and financial assistance are being distributed to each of the attendees of the meeting. Faces, once reflecting stress and suffering, now glow with joy. The physically challenged guests make their way out of the meeting, escorted by the Emanuel TV team and carrying their bags of rice. These are the blind, holding their hands together, accompanied by team members who assist them in carrying their gifts. They make their way out of the church, prepared to face life's challenges, 
with the gifts they have received. These gifts will go a long way in providing a more pleasant life until the next physically challenged meeting. Today, we are called to be his ambassadors, reaching out to a troubled world. These men, women, and children remind us of this assignment. They are fatherless so that we can be their father. They are lonely so that we can be their companion. They are in want so that we can be their benefactor. The huge crowd of physically challenged guests leave the church after the meeting, carrying their supply of rice and their financial assistance with them. In 2010, at the Commonwealth Games in New Delhi, India, a group of athletes, many of them beneficiaries of the physically challenged meetings, came out best among equals against all odds. This is Esther Oyema, competing in the women's powerlifting bench press open. She wins gold and sets a world record. Kate Nwaka Oputa competes against Faith Chineye Obiora in women's wheelchair table tennis to win gold. Yakubu Adesokan sends a victor signal to the audience before competing in the men's powerlifting bench press open. He also wins gold and sets a record. Osawanyobor Arasawa competes in the women's powerlifting bench press open. Joy Onolapo competes in the women's powerlifting bench press open. Esther Oyema, Joy Onolapo, and Osamu Nyobor Arasoma, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists, making history with a clean sweep. Yakubu Adesokan, Anthony Azuna Ulona, and Ikachu Obichuku, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists, also making history with a clean sweep. Chiname Obeta, silver medalist, 2010 Commonwealth Games. 2010 Commonwealth Games, New Delhi, India. Viewers all over the world, we have some of our guests here today. Half of them, they have been part of the ministry, they excel in their career today, which is our joy. You are in tune with the Commonwealth of recent, which took place in India. Some of them participated, and they came best. When I say they came best, gold medal, you know, that is best. We appeal to the nation, to the companies, organization to support, receive them even better than we that claim to be strong. The people that are waiting, I mean, to go to Olympic, they will not be encouraged. And uh, you know, many of them, looking at their age i don't think they can continue with once they have crown even the crown is not fit the head of poor man if a poor man wear crown you will know that this one is a poor man <laughs> having gold medal and still going on the street you know what it is very embarrassing i want them to to go and have their foundation supporting their people Whatever we are doing here, they should know that it's nation Nigeria and the whole world is the one giving them, not the ministry alone. Thank you. <clears throat> what we are about to see is not just the beginning, we have done even more than what you see today. So it's our foundation. They come, what can we do? Look. We want to let them know that, look, whatever constitutes your appearance does not matter. We are one. We are there for you. You will not like to see them on the street again. Somebody with a golden medal without wish here still going on, on the street with golden medal. It's a crime. 
Tell your neighbor you say crime. Let's see from them. My name is Kate Oputa. I'm from Delta State. I'm a sportswoman. A table tennis player. I went to Commonwealth Games in India this year, 2010, and I won gold in women. A women's singles wheelchair para event. I am glad to be among God's people in Synagogue Church of All Nations to give God the glory. In the past, even before the Commonwealth, we had association in our state. They call it the Disabled Association of Physically Challenged Persons, Delta State Chapter. I was one of the treasurers. They have been here before in the past, and the man of God have helped them a lot. And I have also listened to the preachings of the man of God and I learned one thing that we should have confidence in God's word because it must surely come to pass. When the meeting was held, the man of God received us just like his own children. He gave us money, he gave us bags of rice, he gave us transportation to our various homes, and many other things that God has been using him to do. God has used him to send many disabled to, to other nations to compete which we have seen on the screen. God has used him to give scholarship to many people, um, physically challenged people. God has even used him to give shelter to the hopeless. I want to say, may the Lord bless him in Jesus' name. I want to use this opportunity to thank Prophet T.B. Joshua for how he has blessed our sister, Sister Esther, who won gold in powerlifting. I say, may the Lord replenish your pulse in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> the man of God blessed her with a car, a one millionaire. To God be the glory. Since Nigeria has been attending Commonwealth, this is the first time that we have won 11 gold, 10 silver, and many bronze medals. <laughs> and we are one of the top 10 in Commonwealth nations. <laughs> For the fact that the man of God is the first to host us. The man of God heart has been with us, even while we were competing. So that is why he hosts us. And he feels what we feel. He's the eye to the blind, feet to the lame, and father to the poor and fatherless. Despite I'm a gold medalist, I still have some challenges. When I'm going for training, I normally use bike. And you know, sitting on bike with crutches and at the same time carrying my bag is not convenient for me. Uh, in two occasions, I have fallen from the bike, but as God we have it, I didn't sustain any injury. And it didn't stop me from winning from the Commonwealth Games. In other occasion, my crutches has broke into two. I fell, but nothing happened to me. This shows that I'm special, and God is treating us in a special way. 
thank God for what he has been using this great prophet to do in this nation. I remember the time that Falconets won silver during the under 20 women's soccer. They were welcomed, even right from the airport. But God has used Prophet T.B. Joshua to welcome us, even right in his own synagogue. The, <laughs> I have this belief that where my voice cannot reach, the voice of God will speak for me. And I believe this is the voice of God speaking for me. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit. <laughs> is there any touchy? Can you see? And we pray the Lord will continue to speak for you. Now it's with the gold medal. I don't think it's even have a wish here. So you are without wish here? Yes. After asking God, what can we give to those who want the gold medal? want to still see them on the street. So the ministry and the organization, which is Emmanuel TV, partner. We all come together all over the world. Good in Meda. You'll be given a car and a one million era. My name is Yakubu Adeshokong. I come from Oyo State in Ibadan. I'm one of those who went to represent Nigeria. I won a gold medal and broke the world record, setting a new world record. I have been coming to the synagogue church of all nations. The problem that brought me then was that I couldn't afford to feed myself. The man of God prayed for me, gave me some money and food. From that time, my life has been changing for good. After that, I was invited to the national camp. I went for the first trial and got the first position. I had the second trial and got the first position. I had the third trial and also got the first position. So after, after that, we traveled to India, India for the competition. India. Getting to India, power in the powerlifting open. bench press Put open, I brought medal, home a gold medal record. and so broke the world record. Are, I was very happy me, and said to myself that I needed to go back to Prophet T.B. Joshua and give my testimony of what God has done. When I experienced the benefits of coming to the meetings, I started praying for Prophet T.B. Joshua. Now, my situation has turned into joy. God will not leave him. He can continue to strengthen Prophet T.B. Joshua. That is why I'm here today to share my testimony. In India, the natives began to embrace and congratulate me. It was a joyful moment because I didn't believe I could be recognized, but it was due to the prayers of Prophet T.B. Joshua. I thank God for Prophet T.B. Joshua. It has been our primary objective that conditions should not be a reason for, for failure, rather should be a reason to make it. We still have six gold medals there, but they are my able people that physically, okay, they are all, all of them are here. I will meet them to congratulate them. And so give them a warm embrace and whatever we have to support them. So the other people there, they have bronze and silver. So we'll be given five, 500,000 naira. His nation and the war that is given them. It does not matter the name of the ministry, but someone and some place must be used to present it. Ministry all over the world and the nations all over the world and Nigeria government and people of Nigeria. The two gold medalists, Kate Oputa and Yakubu Adesokon. Each receive a gift of one million naira and a brand new car. To say that they are both over the moon would clearly be an understatement. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Kate Oputa, one of the proud owners of a new car, displays the registration document and proof of ownership. The cars and one million naira each of the gold medalists have received will make a tremendous difference to their quality of life. They display their car keys, registration documents, and cash gifts. The man God created is one in unity with God. Whatever constitutes man's appearance, forget. So whether you are poor or rich, whether you are with leg or without leg, don't let your situation mislead you. My name is Obeta Chineme. I'm from Enugu State. I'm a sportswoman. My game is wheelchair race for athletes. I was uh, among the athletes that went for Commonwealth 2010 in India, and I won silver. My names are Joy Ganeatu Onolakbo. I am from Edo State. I, I went to Indian and I won silver. I watched uh, Emmanuel Television when the man of God was sponsoring my colleagues to sing. So that motivated me and said, okay, I have a father somewhere. So when he was organizing a meeting for the physical aid challenge, I decided to come. So I, I, I attended the meetings once or twice. Ever since I've attended the meeting, things have changed. I've been to sports since 99. I've not been able to travel. But now the grace of God spoke for me since that then. I went for trials. My first acting, I came at seventh position. And they were asking us that we must try hard so that we will be in the team. At the final trials, I came at third position. That's what put me to the position where I am. Before we went to Indian, our daddy was always with us in prayers. And otherwise, I'll be coming here and uh, to eat. So I want to thank the man of God. That is why I brought my men out to the house of God to dedicate it to God. Since we arrived, we've not been welcomed. The house of God is the first place where my mother has visited. I want to use this medium to tell the man of God, thank you. There are many challenges that I have faced, that I have faced during this trial. And there are times when the rain is falling as a disabled person. You cannot owe an umbrella. To, to, to the training ground. And even though there is sun, the bike man will not want to pick you. Pick the able body, then he will leave the disabled by. So it, there are many challenges, too numerous to mention. So I'm using crutches to walk around. Sometimes you fall down. My name is uh, Antonio Olonam. I'm from Abia State. The sports I'm doing is uh, powerlifting. I got a silver medal in India, Commonwealth Games. By God's grace, God guide me and God protect me. I won a silver medal. My name is Osameyo Bara Soma. I'm from Edo State. I'm a power lifting. I went to Commonwealth Games in India. I won bronze medal. My name is Faith Obiora, para table tennis. I won golden bronze. The reason why I call it golden bronze was that in racket game, bronze is the highest medal. Because when you fail to win bronze, you are going empty-handed. That was why I called it golden bronze. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank the man of God, who God has given inspiration to do this for us. Because since ever I started sports, last Commonwealth Games I won silver, there is nothing like hosting or no to no hosting but this one that i won golden bronze the man of god decided to reward us may the almighty god who reward blessing we reward you every drop of your sweat my name is ike chuku obi chuku i'm from anambara state i'm the blues medalist in india in the Commonwealth in India. That is the golden bronze. Hallelujah. We have heard from the eight Nigerian medalists of the Commonwealth Games 2010 who took part in para-sporting events. 
the silver and bronze medalists each receive a cash gift of 500,000 naira and a new wheelchair. They wave their hands in thanksgiving to Jehovah Jireh, their provider. Keita Putta, a gold medalist, tightly holds her cash gift of 1 million naira as she leaves her seat. Following is Yakubu Adesokong, also a gold medalist, who together have received a total of 2 million naira and two brand new cars. Today is their day and they are full of joy and excitement as they make their way outside to get a good view of the brand new cars they have received as gifts. Kate waves her car key before getting into her new car for the first time. Likewise, Yakubu, it's now his turn. He gets into his new car and excitedly waves his car key. Gold medalists Esther Oyema, Yakubu Adesokon, Kate Oputa, each received a million naira and a brand new car. Silver medalists, Joy Onolapo, Obita Chineme, Anthony Ulonam, and Otans medalists, Osongwenyobo Orosongwan, Ikechuku Obichuku and Faith Obiora, each received 500,000 naira and a wheelchair. All medalists at 2010 Commonwealth Games, they not only proved themselves against all odds to be best among equals, despite their physical challenge, but also made their country proud. Hosted in the Synagogue Church of All Nations, they were celebrated and awarded these gifts to encourage them and other physically challenged around the world to excel in their chosen spot. The physically challenged medalists and athletes were not the only ones to be celebrated. Able-bodied athletes, including several medalists from the 2010 Commonwealth Games, accompanied the physically challenged athletes to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and TB Joshua hosted them as well. Amongst this team were the coaches and helpers. The Nigerian athletes came into this venue of the Synagogue Church of All Nations one by one, wearing their various medals. It was a real privilege for TB Joshua and Emmanuel TV to host the team, especially since this was the first time since Nigeria had attended the Commonwealth Games that they had won so many medals, including 11 gold, 10 silver and many bronze a great achievement for their nation. The physically challenged medalists make their way into the hall transporting themselves in their new wheelchairs. Amongst them, gold medalist Kate Aputa. She maneuvers her wheelchair and takes her place next to bronze medalist Faith Obiora. The physically challenged athletes line up and take their positions in their new wheelchairs that have been donated by TB Joshua and Emmanuel TV. One of the wise men arrives to minister to them and brings them good news. The wise man announced, that the man of God, T.B. Joshua, is giving them a cash gift of three million naira to take care of their welfare. Emmanuel, welcome in Jesus Christ's name. Greet your neighbor, Emmanuel. If God Almighty, the creator of heaven and universe, is with you, who can stand against you? Right now, give thanks to God as we are in his presence for all that the Lord has done in your life. The man of God sent me today to declare to you today that he has an envelope of three million naira for you today. He has an envelope of three million naira for you, for your welfare. Hallelujah. Proceeds to share the money amongst them. He gives each of them a bag containing gifts of money, books authored by TB Joshua, and a DVD, evangelical items to help build their spiritual lives. Among those who received were the coaches, medalists, and helpers. The gold medalists proudly show up medals, a pride and joy for them and their nation. It was smiles all round for these achievers of the Commonwealth Games. Male and female athletes who excelled in their chosen sports and done their country proud. Gold medalists, silver medalists. It was a reason to celebrate. It was a dream come true. Encouraged by the gifts from TB Joshua, this group of athletes are determined to press on, knowing that better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. With the help of Jesus Christ, we can do better than we ordinarily could. One of the athletes, a coach, spoke on their behalf. Emmanuel, we thank God on behalf of the coaches and the athletes, Nigerian Q as well. I thank God and I give glory to God for, for using the man of God to bless us today, especially the athletes. I really thank God on behalf of the athletes because... This is the first time I was an athlete before. This is the first time that athletes are receiving this kind of 
personal gift and magnitude gift from a man of God. For this, I just appreciate God for the life of the man of God. And I pray God will continue elevate him. That wherever he lay his hand upon will completely prosper in the name of Jesus. He will never drown in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover him with the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank God.